the trial in New York, the one he got convicted for, was the greatest fundraising bonanza yes. ever. He is now, he was lagging behind Biden and now he's pulled quite a bit ahead. That trial was the greatest reason people yes. had to, to send their checks for five, 10, 25, whatever dollars to Donald Trump. So yeah. I, I, and I was always with you on, on the one in New York, the hush money trial. I don't think they should have brought that one. It was just always gonna look like this case. And yes, Trump recently sent this out to be mahal. At the end of this video, you are going to find out what exactly is going on. Before we even go into this, take a look at this video. Hey, good morning, happy Saturday. So I wanted to address the latest reports that I saw about some of these um, Venezuelan migrants that have decided to come across our border and, uh, you know, murder and grip some of our, our children here in this country. Um, the latest report was a 12 or 14 year old little girl who, uh, Venezuelan migrant comes over, not only did he hurt her and throw her body into a creek, also filmed himself doing it, okay? Or the, the mother of five that went out for a jog on a running trail, murdered and her body just thrown aside. And that, that, that Venezuelan migrant, yeah, had a rap sheet from another multiple situations in Venezuela before he came across the border thanks to Joe Biden's administration, okay? I mean, the sad part is, is I can keep going. 12 year old, 14 year old, how about a group of five migrants kidnap a girl across stage lo state lines while keeping her up in Massachusetts? H you know what's going to happen? Much more of these things are going to continue to happen. Venezuela was once revered as one of the murder capitals of the world, okay? One of the worst places for crime. And for the first time in history, that number has dropped. Why do you think that is? Yes, I believe you've seen this clip. I'm still going to play the complete video so you can see exactly what she was struggling to pass out. Now taking a look at Bimaha, they talk about how Trump is gaining more momentum because of these immigration stars. Trump sent a message to Bimaha. This is what he wrote. He was very serious on this. Bimaha, the highly overrated star of the ratings challenge show with the fake, loud and obnoxious laughter pouring out of your set every few seconds, even when nothing was said. That was funny, which is most of the time, someone from a terminal cause of Trump derangement syndrome, sometimes referred to as TDS. Republicans should stop using him as a reference point his show is finished. That is Trump sending this message to be Maha. We have seen of his time, you know, the way he plays both sides, like to say, oh, Trump is, you know, daring with Biden, he's doing this. Along the way, he will still go off Trump. We have seen that several times. To avoid copyright issues, I will do this. Your boy Trump is at it again. He was on a podcast recently and had some interesting things to say about college and illegal immigration. Now, before I get into what exactly he said, make sure that you stick around till the end so that you get all of the information because some of this might actually not be the worst idea. But of course, I always want your feedback. So on this podcast, he floated the idea that if you are a non-citizen and you graduate from college in the United States, you should also get rewarded with a green card. Now, he was on this podcast on Thursday and he said that non-citizens in the United States should automatically get green cards when they graduate college. And he was quoted as saying, what I want to do and what I will do is you graduate from a college, I think you should get automatically as part of your diploma, a green card to be able to stay in this country. He also said that that would include junior colleges as well. This man's brain works in a really interesting way, but let's dig into why he thinks that that's a good idea. And then it says that keep in mind that Trump made similar comments during his 2016 campaign only to limit legal migration when he was in office. Trump was responding on the podcast to a comment from one of its hosts who said, we need highly skilled workers in this country. And he said, could you please promise us you will give us more ability to import the best and brightest around the world to America, is what the host added, to which Trump had that response about the green card. 
Now, Trump did promise that, and he also added and said, it's so sad when we lose people from Harvard, MIT, from the greatest schools and lesser schools that are phenomenal schools also. His immigration policy was a mistake, right? I get the theory of the extreme left, where land of immigrants, let everyone come in, we all came as immigrants. I get it. But how you do it makes all the difference in the world, right? And to just open the borders with no plan, you don't know where they go, you don't know who's going to pay for them. They wind up in cities all across the country. New York has a couple of hundred thousand in hotels, uh, costing New York City a fortune. No jobs, no training, no help assimilating into society. So who did you even help, right? Uh, it was a great well, you, theory. You have, the, you have the person in your old job, the governor of New York, a Democrat, saying... Don't come here. Those are her exact words. Don't come here. And the mayor of New York saying, this is going to ruin our city. I mean, if I didn't know who was talking, I would have thought there would be Republicans. Yeah, uh, and, but they didn't uh, stop them, Bill. They could have stopped that, right? The governor was... Yes, when you take a look at this video, the trial in New York, that is what Bima sent out, the one he got convicted was the greatest fundraiser bonanza ever he was lagging behind biden and now uh, he pulled quite a bit ahead that trial was the greatest reason people had to send their checks for five ten you know whatsoever dollars to trump so i was always with you andrew como on the one in the new york the harsh money trial i don't think they should have brought that one andrew como that case, the Attorney General case in New York, frankly, should have never been brought if his name was not Trump and if he wasn't running for president. I'm the former AG in New York. I'm telling you that case would have never been brought. And that is what is offensive to people. And it should be, they understand exactly what is happening. And Andrew Kumu say it clearly. If Trump was not running for president, the case will not even be there. It is something. Even Trump himself said it clearly. If I was not running, you will not see this. They decided to use this against me, you know, as a political point, but it backfired to a certain level. We saw the money. Libras are regretting. Like, why did we decide to do this? This is just to show you the kind of system, you know, that is in place. It is crazy, you know, to see liberals. When Trump saw this, you know, the whole interview, what was discussed, and this insane uh, Adam Kinzika saying, oh, I'll vote for Biden because he changed his mind. He's now a Democrat, no, no longer a Republican. Trump watched over that, got angry before he sent this out. We should not even reference Bima because of this, you know, a lot of things. He's trying to keep... Democrat and Republicans in his show reason he's changing his tunes every single day to keep people watching to understand that strategy I think I pointed out on one of my videos what Bima is using in order to keep people watching him sometimes I react to his videos to debunk some of these issues that he always bring forth